Hi guys, my name is Leo and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna replace these old springs and shock absorbers with these awesome new ones from Lada Moscow. I can't wait to install it because with this we are gonna lower it for 120 millimeters and hopefully we can still go over speed bumps. But we're gonna see that. Let's start with the rear one. Okay guys, so now first we leave the car nice and safely and put it on jack stands. And it needs to be high enough so we can pull everything out. So now we grab our tools and first we're gonna remove this wheel. Okay, and now I can show you how to change rear shock absorber and springs. So now remove a lower bolt for the shock absorber and we put a jack underneath the differential so when we take out this bolt these are just don't drop it down so we use a 19 millimeter wrench and you can use a wrench another i'm just gonna use the impact drill and just take it out And I'm gonna help with the punch we put on the bolt and just easily top it out. Is out. Okay, now just use this cent. Now use this piece and that don't lose it because all these pieces you need to reuse it later. Okay, now we can remove the spring. Uh, I highly recommend to use one of these spring, uh, spring compressor. Uh, it's gonna do a much safer job and it's just safer to do. I see people do it with crowbars. I don't like that way. And we're just gonna do this. We're gonna compress the spring and take it out. Okay, so it's out. So we now use a 19 millimeter and just take out the old shock absorber. Okay, from the old shock absorber, we need to reuse this metal center piece. So I'm just gonna use a socket extension and a hammer to punch it out. Okay, and that's it. Now we have everything. Okay, I forgot to take out this plastic that sits on spring so just use a flathead screwdriver and pry it out okay so now we put the new bushes and just put it in for the lower for the sorry upper mounting point and for the lower we need to reuse this old metal piece and just squeeze it in and then we are ready for installing And now that's in.
Okay, the installation of the lowered springs are pretty easy because they're so small I can just put them in but don't forget this rubber that goes on top and it's important that a bigger you see you have two sides of the spring and there is less space goes on the bottom and with the bigger space goes on the top so you just put everything together and put in place for now okay. okay now we take the jack and I'm going to put it on a drum brake and so that I can compress everything so that I can fit a new shock get everything level Okay, so I need to go more up. And that's about perfect. Okay, so now we take the bolt. Uh, and we need to place the spacers. But that's not too big deal. And we just push the bolt in. And that's it. Okay, now we are all, all done at the rear. So now we need to remove the front tire and start working on the front shocks and coils. And don't worry guys, I'm showing only this side, but that side of the car is already done. But I film only this because it's the same thing, just gonna be a longer video and everything you need to know I'm gonna show you here, don't worry. So now we need to remove the front, the upper shock absorber mount and for that we need to open up the engine bay. Ok, for the upper uh, shock absorber mount you're gonna need a 17mm wrench. Uh, if you have with gears it's gonna make your life easier and we need a 6mm uh, six little wrench to hold it in place. But this is... Uh, hard to film everything to show you how it's done. I'm going to show you on the new uh, Absorber how you need to take it out, but now I first need to lose this up Okay guys just to show you what I did underneath I put the wrench and then use a small one to hold this in place and just loosen everything and that's everything you need to do okay so now we use 13 millimeter and remove the lower two nuts to take out the shock absorber and now you just pull it out there you go it's out. And now we just need a wrench and to help move our axis I turn it to the left and now we have a wrench and I need to take this nut out and that's pretty much it. Where my demons dwell My own little nightmare I call it hell Oh well It's time to get back up Climbing and climbing I'm done with this ride It's what I tell myself So I can feel something else Yeah, I guess I had my bad days But it doesn't mean I lost myself Darling, where were you? 
I succeed to remove uh, the lower but here it's such a rust welded together I gave up and removed the upper and now we need to place a new spring and now we need to use a jack and press everything back together Trying hard but you wanna be my friend Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you Okay, so now we need to remove uh, this mount and put it on this one. So we're just gonna take it apart. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Thank you guys for watching, uh, unfortunately I don't have a time to test drive it but I'm gonna make a two videos, this is going to be a part one and part two is going to be a test drive of this Lada and I'm gonna tell you what I think about this kit, for now I think it's awesome, I think it's good quality but we're gonna see when it's on the road, so guys please share, like and subscribe and see you next time.